Well, all right. Uh, making quite a mess here. Um, quick update, because I made a bunch of video with the stinking little GoPro session, the little square fuckers. But you can't, like, I got all kinds of issues with it. I mean, you can't tell what it sees without connecting your phone to it, and half the time that fucker doesn't want to work right. And then when you do get it to connect so you can see it through your phone, it, it's shitty. So you end up turning your phone off and then just letting the camera run. Well, then if you decide you want to turn it off and, you know, it's on my head, so I can't see the fucking thing. And I've turned off the little LED because I can't see the fucking thing anyway. So I have to literally take it off my head and check to see if it's recording every time. Put it back on. And then you get bored with doing that, so you just reach up and turn it off. And then when you're ready to start again, you just reach up and turn it on. But sometimes it did the first click didn't work, so it was still technically recording. And now you've turned it off while you're recording. And for fuck's sake. Then... I know, it just keeps getting worse and worse. You can put the biggest fucking memory card you want in that fucking thing, right? And if the battery will last that long, it'll record and record and record until it runs out of memory, and then it just stops fucking recording, and what does it do with that file? It deletes it. <sighs> Same thing with the battery. You could be recording, 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 and the battery will just fucking die. That whole file, <laughs> gonzo. So if you fucking cocksuckers want to see some better fucking footage, somebody send me a fucking GoPro or some kind of head mount, chest mount camera that's not a pain in the fucking ass and has some kind of display so I can see what the fuck is going on. In the meantime, Occam's fucking law or Murphy's, is it Murphy? Murphy's law, Occam's razor, that's right. Murphy's law was I fucking spent all day cutting and slicing and dicing and drilling and holes and fucking brackets to fucking mount this motherfucker in here. <clears throat> ah, mm, chicken. And then I come out here this fucking morning to fucking do this thing and that's a that's all the juice she's got. So I'm not even going to start welding on that fucking thing because it's Saturday and uh, guess who's closed today? The fucking compressed gas place. So yeah. That means I'm going to get back to modifying these fuckers so they're ready to go in there like that. And that'll clearly get added to it like this. And then we'll have brackets for that fucking guy. But also, because I don't need a welder to do it, I just need a cutter. You cutter, you broader. Um, i got to cut these fucking things out all the fucking way all of this has got to go all that's got to go that's fuel lines mm, spicy <clears throat> i'm also gonna have to cut here didn't mean to flip you off there i'm gonna have to cut this guy and bash her and bash because of course i'm too fucking cheap to buy a t56 or even a t5 or what's the other one an ar5 from a colorado but that means I gotta fit the 4L fat ass 60E bitch in there, and she's a fucking heifer. The wide pan and whatnot. Which is gonna limit my exhaust options, so I may have to go old side exit exhaust. That's the stock exhaust, that's not it. But like I did on the uh on the uh old girl out front, I might have to uh knock some of that out and bring a pipe right on down the side like a cobra hey it might actually work out but just in case you think i'm not actually working hard on this old slut these were brand new a week ago fucking 60 dollars on amazon they're warm as fuck though anyway thanks for watching and stopping in like if you like subscribe if you want to see more and as always keep on modding